to Celestian Tales, the Old North. So you're probably wondering what brings us back here, am I going to do another character, or what have you. And the thing is, I may actually do another character in the next week or so. But the main reason why we're here is for the Ravager. So notice the music changed, the symbol changed, and we have a much younger Severin LaRue there. So, if you're not aware, the Howl of the Ravager has been released for beta testing, which is why we're here. I'm not sure if you saw in the bottom right corner we're in version 1.1. So, there are some things to be found here, and I... For those of you that actually saw the main playthrough I did, I always critique Severin's fighting style, because he's very poorly suited for fighting the Ender Chief. But his skill set was actually intended for this mode. So, without further ado, we are going to jump in. And I should also explain, I, uh, I'll explain near the end of the video. Wait here, soldiers. Keep the road behind me safe while I get to the village. What? We're not coming with you, Sir Severn? No. They'll notice our movement if we go together. By the time we get to Horse Sea, they would have set up defenses. Things can turn ugly if they use the villagers as their shield. We should avoid it at any cost. So you're going to sneak in without raising the alarm? Yes. When I defeat their leader, I'll sound a horn and you should come straight away. We'll capture the rest as they scatter in confusion. With respect, sir, you may have squired under Lord Galwin, the Hawkeye, but doing this alone is just too dangerous. Our lady is away fighting for the kingdom in the Outer Realms. Who will lead the Laroon? Do if it's Duard Falls here? Um, the do, I think, can just be taken out. But yeah, just in case you forgot, the uh, developers are not first language English, and as such, there are typos like that they are trying to find feedback for. And what kind of steward am I if I don't do everything I can to save my own people? Worry not, soldiers. I will survive this, and you will join the Lord's Victory Hall in the fields of Orsea a few hours from now. Now, guard this road and let no one through. Keep your eyes peeled on the weeds. Some may try to sneak in under their cover. Now, let's get started. So, I also have to put out a disclaimer here. It's not... There is a possibility that this mode is not possible to beat currently. So, if you're not entirely... Well, this is another thing that those of you that may not be aware of if you were not familiar with the whole beta testing of the original game. Your first fight against the Corrupted Enders, or whatever they were called, I forgot exactly, you had to fight three of them. And they follow the same pattern as usual, but the thing is, with three of them, they actually dealt enough damage to one-shot Lucien from full health. And the problem is, that very attack is actually AoE, so when they used it, it was just game over. We could run into a situation like this, we'll have to wait and see. But first things first, it looks like we're level 20. Severin is packing a LaRue sword, chainmail, default outfit. I don't know if the new costumes are actually in the game just yet. I did want to play through once they um, had the costumes put in, so we'll see. So passive skill, leap into combat, gives you 20 initiative. I assume that's probably like first turn only. And then you have scrape as your active skill, deals damage and inflicts bleed, so there is some potential there. only have our wits about us. Now I don't believe there are any medals for you to pick up in this mode, and I don't believe anything you do here actually impacts the main game or even Realms Beyond. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave this fight in, <laughs> just so you can see that he really is as overpowered as he seems. Definitely don't think that's intentional. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't think anything you do here affects uh, Old North or Realms Beyond, but I could be mistaken. And the converse is true, what you do in those games won't actually impact this. Who 
food, so this entire trip is a bit of a waste. Oh well. But yeah, since this is supposed to be the story of Severin's rise, I really didn't expect him to be level 20 from the gate. <laughs> see if the boss fights at least compensate for that in some way, shape, or form. So no misery cord. And here we are in Orsi. Lady Larue will hear of this, you good for nothing robber. She'll hunt you down and deliver justice. Ah, you're so beloved, Lady Larue. It's away in the outer realms, war in the Celestians. Talk all you want, she's still not going to hear you. Away to the Outer Realms? I've never heard such a thing. You must be lying. Lie, huh? Fine, I'll let you watch us take your stuffs. Then you can see for yourself that you've been deserted. Gang up. Our gang split up. Scour the village. Empty the granaries. Take everything that shines. And leave nothing at all. You can take your time. Without the Lunar Army, this village is practically ours right now. You hear that, friends? It's party time. So that's their leader. I should defeat him as soon as I can. Without a leader, they're just a disorganized pack. Even the villagers will be able to stand up against them. So is there anything over here for us? Just to fight. So yeah, I think we'll actually walk in through the front door. Never mind. Okay, so all the bandit sprites have been replaced. Man, well, we got here without too much of a hassle. So Severin, I knew LaRue will come and save the day. What the hell? Boss, you said the LaRue are away in the outer realms. I see the pesky little brother has returned from his squiring. Maybe a LaRue, but he's alone and there are three of us. Don't be scared, boys. I might have given you some mercy had you shown regret over what you did. Alas, mercy is not to be. Then death by the blade shall be your punishment. Come at me, criminals. So, I'll actually save the leader for last. Wow. They can actually hurt Severin. So we got some resources, and we got some crystals. Impossible, how can you be so strong? <laughs> Sir Severin is our hero, long live LaRue. That was amazing, how you fought those bandits. Sir Severin is indeed as strong as rumored. How glad we are to see you, Sir Severin. Thank the day as you came in time. I'm sorry this had to happen, villagers. Had I come sooner? What are you apologizing for, sir? You saved us from those bandits. Yet had I come just a minute or two too late, they would have managed to get away with your belongings, and maybe even your lives. Such close results is not acceptable. I promise I shall do better as steward of the little realm. Sir Severin, are you alright, sir? I'm fine, soldier. Have you rounded up the rest of those bandits? Yes, sir, but we'll need more time to scour the wheat field. Some may still be hiding there right now. Good, then get on with it. If any of them tries to run, don't hesitate to kill them on the spot. We should make them an example. The LaRue takes care of the people in this realm. Criminals will not go unpunished. Yes, sir. Sir Severin, I bring a message from Levantine, sir. What message, soldier? This must be important for you to come all the way here. Lord Levant requests your presence immediately, sir. He said that this is a grave matter that cannot be spoken in public. We prepared a ship for you at Grenoble. I shall escort you there, sir. Please follow me. An important matter, huh? I guess it's time for me to leave, then. Have a good day, villagers of Orsea. Remember that you will always be safe under the banner of House Lord. Come on, then. Take me to that ship you prepared. Yes, sir. 
swing, if you please. Thank you, Sir Seven. Dance, bless you. Long live the Rue. Long live the Red Wolves. He's so handsome, isn't he? I wonder if he'll get married soon. I know the look in his eyes. A man like him lives on the battlefield, not in the gentle, cara gentle caress of household life. There's the picture we see in every prologue. Sir Severin, is it true that you squired under Lord Galwyn, the Hawkeye, with Dame Marianne and Sir Thetis? I did. What about it? No, I was just... The three of you are well known in the Old North, sir. Just in case you haven't noticed. Many of us common people expect you as the next generation that will lead our realm into prosperity. Such high expectations it must be a burden, right? Why did you become a soldier woman? Why did you not choose to stay in your hometown, building a family and caring for your children? Me? I, uh... I wanted to defend the realm, sir. I don't think being a housewife is my calling. I believe the realm is frail, sir. We have beasts preying the highways, bandits ready to pounce upon unguarded villages, and nobles. And nobles, what soldier? No need to be afraid, speak in your mind. Well, some nobles, not you or Lord Levant, of course, are for me not much different than bandits in pretty clothes. High taxes, strict rules, sometimes taking men and women they fancy to be used as objects of pleasure. The realm needs people to fight these things for Severn. To stay home and live my life makes me feel like I'm not doing my part. That's exactly how I feel about those expectations, soldier. None can choose how they are born. To be given life under the name LaRue is my blessing, and my curse at the same time. Indeed, the duties may feel heavy sometimes. Heavier still when there are a chance for me to run away, deserting this land for the outer realms to live an easy, idyllic life. But then I would be betraying those who trust me to lead them, to play the part in this realm that only I can play. I'm not sure I'm selfish enough to do that. I'm not sure I ever will. Do you think the Red Wolves would accept me in their ranks, sir? Hmm? You're a Levant soldier. Why don't you ask that? Well, Lord Levant may be a good ruler, but nothing's ever moved me as much as your words did, sir. Your strength, your bravery, your devotion to the realm. I think I'd find more purpose serving under your command rather than staying where I am right now. Life as a LaRue soldier is full of danger. We keep the realm's peace by being on the offensive, and our lives are risked at all times. I expect no less, sir. I'd rather die leaving something meaningful behind than just standing guard waiting for the hour to pass. Such honesty and passion are rare nowadays, soldier. Red Wolves would be happy to have you. Speak to the Master at Arms at Fort Griveaux, the LaRue's Fortress. He'll set you up for your post and your red armor. Yes, sir. I will speak to my superiors for a transfer as soon as possible. Thank you for having me. For one of your soldiers to join me in just a few moments like that. Elaine, do you really have what it takes to lead Levantine?